Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about gratitude journaling. I just woke up and I had this little insight that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so basically I've been gratitude journaling for a while now and it, it all of a sudden it struck me. So I, I woke up and I immediately walked to my, to my gratitude journal. And I start writing down things that I'm grateful for right now. I was grateful for, I'm grateful for this beautiful morning. I'm grateful for all the people in my life. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my ability to share my knowledge with you guys and hopefully inspire you to become better persons or to become better people, to, to just to help you out in, in, in any way, right? And then I went to the bathroom and I was sitting there and I was thinking a little bit about what just happened and I realized that what makes gratitude journaling so powerful is that the moment you wake up and then you decide to go and take your journal and write down these thoughts, these positive thoughts you direct your focus and your attention towards something that you choose. So I wake up and I choose to write down things that I'm grateful for. So you take control over your mind in a way. Like you can wake up and be all over the place and think about many things. But then you can decide, okay, now it's time to write down my gratitudes. And then you take control over your mind and you direct it towards something positive, you know. So that was like very interesting to realize that, okay, I, I kind of have control over where my thoughts go. And then I was, was in the bathroom and I pulled out my phone. And then I started, you know, checking my notifications or my, my yeah, my social media, whatever. And then it became even more clear, like, this now is input directing my mind i'm not no longer really in control because i'm like reacting to the notifications or i'm like directing my attention to something that i have no control over and it was a very interesting kind of um how do i say i'm not i don't, I don't know the word interesting Contrast, that's the thing, that's the word. Contrast, an interesting contrast. Um, yeah, so it's, we're in Mexico right now, and there's always these trucks driving around with a lot of vibing music, I guess. Well, that's how it is. So yeah, that's a, just a quick video that I wanted to share with you guys, like this insight that I had about gratitude journaling. So it's also a reminder to myself, really, to continue doing this on a daily basis. And it, it has a certain quality to it. Like, it's very hard to describe. But whenever you write down these, these gratitudes, and usually afterwards I write down affirmations, um, it, it kind of instills this belief in yourself or something. Like, I'm not 100% sure what it, what it does. But I know that if you do it consistently over time, it's going to have great results. So I highly recommend you, you try it out. Just buy a little notebook, put it next to your bed, write down five things you're grateful for when you wake up, write down five things you're grateful for when you go to sleep. And if you feel like it, you can also write affirmations. But don't write, well, in my opinion, you should not be writing affirmations that don't ring true with yourself take some time to think about stuff that you actually believe about yourself and then write those down for instance i believe i want to believe about myself that i am someone who cares about others and who wants to help them and who wants to inspire them so i write down i am someone who inspires people and so that is something that i'm able to believe and if you write those things down every day you also act in that way because 
whenever you write it down and you say it to yourself, your brain, there's something called cognitive dissonance. And it actually, probably a lot of you might know what it is, but let me explain just a little bit. Cognitive dissonance is when you say things that are not in line with what you are doing or what you believe is true. So whenever you write down, I am an inspirational person, and you don't act on it, there is going to be a little bit cognitive dissonance in your mind. So by verbalizing the things that you want to be, actually, because I want to be an inspiring person, I want to help people. So when I write them down in the present moment, I am an inspirational person. I help thousands of people all over the world. Then <laughs> the truck is back here. <laughs> they wave to me, it's fine. Um, I want to inspire and help people all over the world. When I write that down every single day, whenever I don't act on that, or whenever I don't make sure that I actually am that kind of person, I will feel some tension inside me. So I will, will want to act on that affirmation. And I think there's where the power li lies that's that's what makes them so powerful if you if you do them consistently because in the beginning I was very very mm, not open to those things I was like ah these affirmations it feels weird like I am the greatest like it's it doesn't feel it doesn't ring well like I didn't resonate with it and then I found out about doing affirmations the right way um, which is basically thinking of things that you actually do believe about yourself starting with those writing things that you already believe about yourself and then in the following days or weeks you can try to build on those you know like I am helping people okay then I can make I am helping thousands of people I'm inspiring people so you can like build on it and the more you do it the more trust you gain and the the more you will start to believe your affirmations more and more and then you will start to act more and it's like a vicious circle like it's like a loop you know like the more you believe your affirmations the more you will start acting in that way the more you will believe again and it becomes a positive loop and that is a, I think a very powerful process so yeah those are just a few quick thoughts on gratitude journaling and affirmations um, highly recommend you try it out at first I was like it feels weird it's stupid I don't want to do it it's awkward it's like so weird that I have to do this but now that I'm like doing it more consistently it really really pays off so highly re highly highly recommend you you give it a shot. Um, okay, so that is for now. Thank you for watching and uh, see you guys in the next one.